buddies, it's your girl at Christine, and today we're checking out The Dark Side of Disney by Thomas Sanders. Now, what's funny to me about watching this is, I don't know if you guys have noticed, or if you guys are aware, but um, Disney had that big deal with Fox that I think the government is still, uh, like, looking through. If not, then it's done. I, I gotta keep up. I don't really remember right now where it's stated is at this moment. But uh, they're getting a lot of things back. They're gonna be um, owning Deadpool. They're gonna be owning X-Men. They're gonna, I think they're getting a Fantastic Four back from what I heard. And uh, that worries me. <laughs> it does. Because the last, um, cause they got Star Wars and like Star Wars 8, episode 8, I loved it. I love Star Wars episode, no, episode 7, sorry. The, um, the Last Hope. Or, uh, yeah, The Last Hope or whatever. No, Force Awakens. I keep wanting to call it Last Hope. I don't know. But Force Awakens, I loved it. Rogue One. I love Star Wars Rogue One. But Last Jedi had a lot of issues, and I think it was kind of Disney-fied, alongside decisions the director and writers made that I wasn't really a fan of. But, I mean, the movie as a whole is a good movie, but I was kind of a little worried. I'm like, is this the issue of having Disney run Star Wars, you know? Is it? I don't know. But now that they're getting those other things back, I'm like, uh, yeah, The Avengers is great. Deadpool was great the way it was. It's for adults, it's mature. What is Disney gonna do to it? I'm nervous about that. And like those other entities, X-Men, uh, cause I liked Logan. I thought Logan was awesome because it was raw. It was like, that's how Logan is. So, uh, well, you know, that's a lot of how Logan is. Uh, there's obviously some things they still need to change. But nonetheless, the X-Men, hope the movies will be better, hopefully, because the last one was garbage. But, uh, like, Disney owning it, I'm not really, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm excited to see what he thinks the dark side of Disney, although he's probably thinking maybe park-wise versus story-wise, but nonetheless, we're about to see what he's got to say. Link for this video is in the description box below. Let me know your thoughts about all the other movies and stuff that I mentioned. Do you agree with what I was saying? Do you have a different perspective? Let me know down below, as long as you're not triggered. If you're triggered, don't say anything. But um, yeah, link is down below. Let's enjoy this. Let's get started. And now, a featured presentation. A featured present. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> I know, I wanted to do that too. What is up, everybody? Okay, things you probably yeah. don't know about me. Okay. I have a big freckle right behind my ear. Oh, I, I despise carrots. And I can't go to sleep without what? making sure my closet door is closed for fear of shadow demons and or the Demogorgon coming in and attacking me <laughs> while I slumber. The usual stuff. But one of the things yeah, you most usual. likely do know about me is that I love me some good old-fashioned I do love Did someone say Prince? No. And dude, you gotta stop interrupting my vlog. This uh, is like the third one in a row you've popped yeah, up. Yeah, that's I'm the prince, okay? You decided to talk about Disney. How am I not gonna that's show funny. up? I was bringing it up because I wanted to talk about the many messages Disney movies provide. Oh. That sounds super! I know. But he's talking about the dark. Now, Califragilistic Expiella Doge. Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. Stop. Did someone say atrocious? <laughs> are Goodness. you kidding me? We have expanded from the last uh, two It's funny videos. how they are like all interrupting him and he's like getting frustrated. But it's something quite atrocious. Stop. Did someone say atrocious? Are you kidding You're me? You're mad at we him. We have expelled you from the last two videos. When you, you know came up? it is to interrupt a vlog? Um, uh, okay. The same thing you well, did. anxiety, I gotta admit, I don't know why you are yeah. here. Simple. I, too, am a Disney fan. <laughs> <laughs> you? What? Why is that so hard to believe? <laughs> Disney movies are the embodiment of goodness and purity, something you would know uh, nothing yeah. about. <laughs> you must not be watching the same movies then, because the movies I know have much more sinister undertones. Oh, okay. Come on, Thomas, you must sense it. I'm just trying to make sure that you're alert to all of the messages okay. in those films, whether they were intentional or not. Actually, what? this is... Kind of yeah, what what? is it? So you think every movie has a darker meaning or a misleading message? Oh yeah. This is ridiculous. Which one? You besmirched the name of Disney. This time, <laughs> you have gone too far. He's upset. Really? This is where you cross the line. Well, how about uh, this? I will throw out some Disney movies, and you two tell me what I'm supposed to learn from each okay. movie. Practically perfect in every okay. way. Why are you only quoting Mary Poppins? Because Julie Andrews <laughs> is a beautiful goddess, and because <laughs> I can, okay? Oh. Hashtag triggered. He was hashtag triggered by that. Julie Andrews is a wonderful goddess. Okay. Oh, goodness. Uh, movie number one uh, Cinderella. Cinderella's beautiful. <laughs> Believe in your dreams and one day. They will come true. Okay. Sure, just literally wait around your entire life, subjecting yourself to the cruelty of your ungrateful, ignorant Yikes. family members until some magical fairy comes along to save you. 
don't take action yourself. Yikes. She had mice too. Not to mention men can't memorize the face of a woman they've been dancing around with for hours. They have to rely He's on got a point. Two. Ergo, men are idiots. He was a very He's busy prince. Point. He had a lot on his mind. Okay, let's just move yeah. to another. Um, Snow White. Okay, so this time the message is to not do what the princess did. Don't accept random fruit from strangers. Okay. Or don't eat fruit. No. No, no, no eat message fruit, is to sir. Just run away from your problems and become the housekeeper for seven men. Sometimes Dear. the best solution is to get out of a bad situation. Yeah. yeah, I'm a Hufflepuff. I tend to run away from every situation. Oh. <laughs> Don't make all Hufflepuffs out to be like that, Thomas. <laughs> Not to mention a prince comes out of nowhere and plants a kiss on a seemingly sleeping girl. I guess consent isn't really that Crap. important. He thought she was dead. It was a farewell kiss. What's with all the prince hate? I uh, wonder. Okay, well, how about something a little bit more? He's basic? got a point. Frozen. A sister's love triumphs over all. And don't trust random princes. I can get behind that. I swear. <laughs> also, when Elsa passes away, Olaf's gonna die too, because the magic will be gone. So just prolong the inevitable. Oh, oh whoa, wow. whoa, whoa, whoa. That, is really that was weird. a lot. Okay, let's light that was a lot darker. Peter Pan. Don't let your childhood spirit ever okay. die. Also, it's totally fine to believe a random stranger when they tell you to jump out the window after they've broken into oh, your house. Oh no, okay. But I would guess that's how your whole being Oh no, died. okay. Uh, Yikes. That, okay, how about he's got a point. Don't favorite. do that. The value of a person is not determined by wealth. A diamond yes. in the rough can be found anywhere, even someone who I may agree be considered with the prince. a street rat. And they can get what they want by lying and deceiving their way no. right into the castle and getting the No, princess. he's twisting oh, it. Come on. He's twisting he it. Clean in the end, he even freed the genie. Yeah, yeah he did. But not before lying and deceiving no, his he twisted the castle Where did the, the princess. Boy? Fox and the Hound. True friendship overcomes any boundaries set by okay, society. Sure. But then that friendship will immediately be terminated by that society, and the two must learn their place. No. Wow. No. That is literally what happened at the end no. of that movie. It's true. I cried. Oh, really? Oh. Beast. Okay, I know what you're going what? to say. You're going to say Stockholm, Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> syndrome but yeah, okay. A lot, of peop a lot of people, a lot of people say that. Stockholm Syndrome. But that's not the case with Beauty and the Beast. That's not the case. That's one of my favorites. That is not the case. Than just a prisoner falling in love with her kidnapper. Right. It is about a love that transcends outward Thank appearance. Thank you. That's what Even it is. A beastly, hairy animal. You're right. That doesn't sound much. No, better. but what? it's Come not. On. It is transcending. Can you really look down so harshly on these movies? I still like them. Okay. There's just. Some darker messages that we don't first see. Right. Bambi, man is dangerous. Which is true. White man is dangerous. I won't say sleeping anything. Sleeping Beauty. Well, now we're back to the lack of consent with sleeping women. Oh, limits. goodness. It was to lift a curse. The Little Mermaid, don't just sign a contract without having your mer lawyer look over okay, the Okay, but that makes sense. And stipulations, that one's just That makes sense, sense, though. Or learn to write or use sign language. There's more than one way to tell the prince you're the girl that saved him. Oh, well, no, on. wait. Did I just Hold detect on. a hint of yeah. sarcasm towards the yeah. Disney movie? Well, there's always been yeah. one or two things I've yeah. noticed. Frankly, just make it easy for the princess. We could use a helping hand every True. once in a while. Or shoes. Or shoes, yes. Yeah. Well, then how about we just concede that Disney movies have a lot of different... Okay, I can I can get to that. Them. Duh, that's what I've been saying. I never said Princey was wrong. You oh. don't know. Well, then I suppose I oh. shall concede a few points okay. to you. Great. Okay. Excellent. Cool. Still don't <laughs> like you. What was that? The uh, Chim Chim Taru. <laughs> oh, Mary Poppins. Okay. It's, it's oh, like out. Yeah, oof. Well, my personality is very weird. I'm sorry about that. But That's I funny. hope that you did enjoy that little Disney debate. Maybe you all can think of some interesting messages from other mm. Disney movies That's we didn't a good cover. Question. If you do, please feel free to share them. Will do. And until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out! That was... Okay, uh, how about Mulan? There's never a wrong time to dress in drag. That's Lion not... King. There's never a wrong time to dress in drag. And, and do, do the, the hula! Uh, well, I I do agree with both of the the Sanders, like the Prince and the um, Anxiety one. There are some movies that it's like, okay, common sense. And with The Little Mermaid, one thing that was frustrating for me was like the way that she was trying to talk to him. Like she could like she couldn't write it down, or which I remember, could she not write it down? But also, like, she couldn't, like, do better sign language to explain the situation. It was weird. It, there are some things that are weird and don't make sense. But some of the movies, like, I know Beauty and the Beast is a hard one because a lot of people are like, oh, Stockholm Syndrome because she was kidnapped. Well, she wasn't really kidnapped. She's uh, imprisoned at this palace and she ends up falling in love with the prince, but I think it's more love transcending these issues versus, you know, Stockholm Syndrome. But I do think that 
the whole helpless princess until a man comes to save you thing. Uh, I, I know that Frozen really tried to get away from that, and that's one thing I do appreciate about Frozen, even though I'm not a really big fan of the movie. Uh, there are certain, like, it looks beautiful, like the, uh, not cinematography, but the design is very beautiful. And I liked that message, that they didn't need, it wasn't the love of a prince that they needed or a love of a man they needed, it was their sisterly love that they needed. And I appreciate that. I give, I give Disney their nod for that. But, and it's not really just Disney, like a lot of movies when you look back at them, because um, even, was my husband watching something yesterday or the other day? And uh, it made me think of like those times where like a lot of movies were about a woman was in need and only what could save her was a man versus a woman doing it on her own. And uh, it was like the sign of the times, I guess you could say. But a lot of things are a lot different now, so. It's cool now, you know, we're good now. We, we doing better now, you know. But uh, I do agree, I do agree with some of the messages that Anxiety was saying, and I also do agree with some of the messages that the Prince was saying. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Who did you side more with, the Prince or the Anxiety Sanders? Let me know down below. If you liked the video, check out the video in the link in the description box below and support Thomas Sanders there. If you like this video, like right out of that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I love you guys as always, and until next time, buddies. Toodles!